Hello, welcome to the Dawn Reaction to Linus Tech Tips What Do We Do Now video. Uh, I don't plan to do many of these um, reactions to other YouTubers, but I did do a pretty harsh video on Linus Tech Tips last time, so I got my judgment hat on, the Dawn outfit ready, and uh, I want to see what they say here. This is their new CEO, so let's just get started. I will be pausing every time I make a comment. I said the Russ a few years ago when he said, Why the f are you here? <laughs> That's a two part answer. I'm speaking today because of the recent community outcry and right. climate change. I'm here because I agree with the community. We do have a lot of work to do. Before we talk you're not, about you're not here for the community. Terms, you're here because you're the CEO and there's a lot of slander against you on the corporate side, and how crappy you're doing. Is in computer science. My first role in the tech He's computer science, the little brother in the uh, programming world. Nice to uh, see that we're doing well. Industry was as the writer at Newseeker. My history building gaming PCs was even further back to when I built a Celeron 300A rig because everyone assured me it was guaranteed to overclock to 450 megahertz. I guess my trip didn't really get the memo. In any case, it feels really good to be back on most days. I'm only six weeks into the job, but in that time I've seen a lot. I've looked at some budgeting, some team building, and operations. But my main focus has been to be a fly on the wall and gain an understanding of what's okay, going team right building. and what's good. going wrong. There's a lot of both. I've asked the team to unflinchingly address both the concerns that have been raised and how we intend to fix them. With the money we'll make from our sponsor. <laughs> Just okay, kidding. there's no sponsor. I was asked for unflinching, and here it is. Linus is a human gas molecule. You've been telling him for this years. This is Linus's and wife. I've been so telling him for years. She's staying relevant on YouTube. Is she's going to be. But we aren't fighting for survival anymore. Linus so went to her and was like, what am I going to do? I'm stressed fact, out. Ways, and she's like, I'll handle it. That's what I think. Better created our current situation. My background is in managing a pharmacy where the small details matter a lot. And basically, I agree with the community. So I'm putting my foot down. I agree with the community. You you can tell that they have a writer saying, hey, make sure you agree with the community, 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 you know, say the word and make sure that they know that uh, we're, we're doing the right thing. But improving to the degree that we want and need is going to take more than a week. So I'll be working with Taryn and Colton to manage our sponsor commitments and the financial hit of both this housekeeping week and a reduction in our LTT upload schedule. At least for That's now, good. while we get our house in order. But before anyone so you don't concerned, upload every day cut investments and actually the well hurt people in our future capabilities, I can assure you that I've read the criticisms that we weren't willing to spend $500 to test a product. And as the one that manages the finance, I can tell you that couldn't be further from the truth. Linus made a clear and egregious judgment error regarding retesting a product he felt was impractical. That was wrong, and I've told him so. He allowed his personal feelings on the matter. I don't to think she really it. told him so. To you know what I think? I think, hey, you have to admit that you're wrong. I actually agree with you because I'm your wife. Why don't I let but the, the community disagree with, disagrees right. with you, I'm so uh, yes. you're wrong. First off, we've made some mistakes. Too many. They made a lot of mistakes. It's how we deal with them moving forward that will define who we are. And regardless, it's clear that we need to serve you better. So our team will be spending our week publishing living documents for our testing standards and opening them up to feedback from the community. Community, community, community. community. That's what I'm saying. That we'll word means nothing going back through to me, with lamps, staff, to a lot of people, Fisher, okay? Accuracy, if you abuse the word, it will start to lose its meaning. It's just like you're using it just because that's what the writer said to do. I don't, I don't agree. Uh, at least he's being truthful. Before I do that, one point I do need to address here is that Linus misspoke when he said we retest for every video. We retest for every project. When we use the same data for our RX 7600 and Wait a RTX second. You reuse we for every project, for not every video? And designed a broad test suite that accounted for then, all the numbers we would Then, no wonder the GPU errors exist. No you ta you're taking it from an old project and using it in a new video. video. That, that's, you can't do that. But 
the devil's in the detail. What about drivers? Now, let's talk new about drivers, stuff. new, we you know. We release our current Mark Bench harnesses. Yeah. It's open source items so that the community can audit Open source items are really good. Integrations. Always we'll support open source items. On plane about our testing from start to finish so you can see how okay. the sausage is actually made. We will open a new community forum post asking for transparency suggestions and more importantly, we will follow up. We will start placing our testing project number in the credits so we are always open about the data set that was used for the benchmark results. All right, that's and a lot better. There is a lot more still to Definitely come. an improvement there. Test variation percentages for workbench to each benchmark we utilized in videos among others. It's going to be a busy week of not making videos. Same goes for us. I'm James, head of the writing department. We are extremely grateful for everything the lab has done if and he says to do to community. make our jobs easier. But the actual testing is not the biggest source of our recent struggles. If it's this the guy's human factor. There have been times when an internal video review caught an incorrect graph, resulting in new versions of the graph being created. Only for he looks those like new graphs he got a degree in English. In ah! Just about every error that has appeared in a video Enthusiasm. in the past year has directly resulted in a process change designed to prevent that specific issue from ever happening again. Okay. This kind of problem so there was a workflow that you implemented, and then the workflow didn't work, we'll be using but you left it implemented. We'll from our team on all of our processes and comb through all of our pending projects for areas where we can improve as we move forward with our reduced upload schedule. You'll see some of these videos go up during our time off. We already have multiple videos that are scheduled for release, but my main message to the team is that we want to spend this time working on interdepartment communication and cleaning up our house. What we won't be doing okay. is sanitizing things too much. We know that some of our best videos are centered around Linus and other members of the team goofing around with tech and having fun. That is not going to stop. Yeah. But others, like GPU and CPU releases, certainly require all the rigor we can muster. Those launches don't happen as often these days, so it will take some time before you see the full payoff of our continuous improvement, but it has already started happening. So you're saying you're backtracking what you just said. You're not. GPUs are one of the most important things, and you're not going to slow down the production of those when they release because you want all the views first because you're a big company. No, good. We've done serious development on our Accessible, that's another word that the community likes to hear. Pull the correct info in every time. And we'll soon be announcing the details of a new crowdsourced fact-checking system for both LTT and TechQuickie okay. so that our content's correctness satisfies even our most discerning community members. Hi, Matt, head of our production team. We have some of the okay. most comprehensive documentation and processes in the company, from automations to key project information accurate Okay, in, to in the company, sure. To standards for how loud I wonder how good it is compared to anyone else. But you don't really show that. Examples where we failed to see the forest for the trees and allowed well edited but erroneous content to slip through the cracks. So for our part, we'll be spending our time looking at how we can improve communication to help the team address anything that seems off as soon as possible. A okay. personal task for me will be putting the finishing touches on some cool ways we can make small edits. Cool that ways, slap dash dude. Text on That's my line. Cool ways, possible. dude. As for how we catch those bugs. Yeah. That's not my department, so I'm throwing it over to Nick. Hold on, hold on. I'm mostly on the product side, LTTstore.com. What? Somebody had to say it. But the theme of today's video. No one had to say it. And accountability. In fact, you might not see me. It's inappropriate defense, for this video. You're in trouble, and yet you just, you know, LTT wanted to sell stuff. stuff. I typically check for security links and inappropriate or NSFW jokes. But there are times when I catch a factual error or a, Wait a second. that doesn't really tell the full story. To be clear, we also have checks for technical... So it's all your fault. Our writing team, and in some cases, the lab. But this is a double-edged sword. We're going to catch 22. This guy, his job is to fix errors, so while we take catch, you know, not safe for work jokes. But I bet if he says, hey, this video is not good enough and sends it back... I bet they get pissed or something. They need to be lenient with this guy. And maybe with time, everyone here will be so aligned with our mission that my input is no longer needed, and I can focus my full attention on making little widgets that you don't need, but definitely want. Like this 
retro themed screwdriver. Arizona supports no, he's needed. Like tables and graphs chip away our credibility. So continuing to improve our process issues to minimize errors will remain a top priority under my leadership. I guarantee there will be future mistakes. We are human. But in the next week, we'll be creating and publishing a clear policy for correction handling, and I'll be working with our community management team to be prompt and transparent. Well, he's the CEO, so as as you know. I think what happened with the uh, is a example. He has the he has the save Friday, company Friday, face. Friday, you know, he's Friday, the one you that you send on when you're in trouble. But while we he knows exactly video, what to say. This guy's professional. No one closed the loop and dealt with the tone deaf and frankly unapologetic correction in the pin comment. Our mission is to get the information to the community, which includes having a degree of humility about our mistakes, even if it makes us look less. I bet this guy was pissed. The other side of my job as CEO is keeping the lights on, ensuring our staff is yep. taken care of, and putting dollars into some fun stuff, like water and cooling a PC with a pool. And that's through sponsorships, affiliate programs, paid subscriptions, or merchants. Oh, he's, he's going to sell out. He's like, hey, we're going to sell out to these sponsorships and everything, make sure that we're good. And instead of actually reviewing something we're gonna watch what we say in case the review is sponsored and we don't want to say bad and hurt any relationships anything just because i'm in shock at this point in time nick turns over and says no absolutely not i started laughing a little bit and i just said hey nick there's probably a more um a better way to handle that um where we could just uh soften up a little bit but the truth is i don't disagree with them We've had many rocky periods of sponsors Good. where they're not happy with the content or the conclusions. Nick, Nick's my new favorite guy. He he best. probably has the hardest this time has here. This has significant negative impacts on revenue. I think we're pretty transparent on how, where, and why we make our money. And one of our strategic pillars is to make sure that we can maintain editorial independence. This has included on multiple occasions Sponsor. saying goodbye and good luck. To Membership. Ranging from thousands of dollars a year to hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Website, Over page, and doing globe plane. You make plenty well, of money we in your four, uh, one hundred million dollar company. Where's Linus? I want to see Linus I apologize. We've done a poor job off, however, is publishing these standards where a community can see them. That's something I'll be improving upon. And so will I. I'm Colton, the head of business development, which includes the I don't like you, like Colton. HR, procurement, logistics. I knew he was so HR. He looks like an HR douchebag. I'm sorry, Colton, but come on. I'm sorry. In my opinion, we haven't done a great job conveying that. It's up to my team to vet incoming sponsor requests and deal with okay. issues that you, our viewers, have with our brand partners. One way we do that is using our LMG sponsor discussion sub forum on LinusTechTips.com to right. create a dialogue between our business team and the community. It's Good. obvious from some of the issues we're seeing that we need to be more communicative when we're actively working with brands to rectify issues. Most content creators can attest to the fact that brands sometimes take forever to respond to messages or address problems. That's absolutely true. I, I've actually uh, have a couple videos coming up where I've tried to contact people and they're like, get out of here. You only have 11 subscribers. What can you do? I've tried. With lots of moving parts or small with limited resources. So things can take time, but you shouldn't be waiting in the dark. It's critical for us to get the sponsorship piece right because real talk, you guys are the boss. If you're not happy with brands we work with, you won't engage with our sponsors and suddenly we won't be able to support all the cool okay. stuff we're currently um, in. Moving forward. Though, how many n look sub forum on issues that need Whatever sponsors you've spon you, that have sponsored you I can tell you right now, at least in my own opinion, I, in in the past, I've not clicked or bought anything from any of them. Like I'm not what AMD supported you. I, I never bought went and bought anything from AMD through your link. I just looked it up and be like, oh yeah, that's a good one. I want to buy that. I forgot to actually include our contact in that email. Mm. So it went to our procurement team. So it's your fault. Bill at labs. Side note, that same team, God bless them, didn't ask our event team who won the silent auction items and proceeded to email everyone asking, we don't need any of that. Certainly not for tax purposes. I clearly need to spend some of my week training the team unless I actually get fired for real this time. Moving forward, we'll be implementing a more rigid process for separating items that need to go back. They're not going to fire you. You're part of the HR department. This might ring a little hollow. Coming All right, here we go. One half of the WAN show team that brought you Trust Me Bro and the privateering. I like Luke. Among others. 
but we need to be better about our communication. Now, I have no intention to like kill the silly humor or be less open with people. I don't want anything to be less fun, but we do need silly to be humor respectful and is of the probably ninety percent of, of why I watch your show. Proud of the work that we do, but we shouldn't negative. The other ten percent is fellow tech information. Friends. When issuing corrections, we need to apologize. We need to respect people's time and their money. I said after the last round of this that you don't Dude, win by screaming Luke is he he's you killing it here. Problems, he's not using community. Market. He's not using accessibility. This guy seems supernatural, and I feel like I can trust whatever he says. Out of anyone here. On the production side of things these days, what my teams and I are working mm -hmm. hard on is to support the other teams in other ways. Reintegrating into LMG has been somewhat terrifying. One of my team's jobs is to take over management of the infrastructure. And while I have brought an experienced team member into the fold, it needs a lot of work. So far, we've mostly just been focused on documenting what we even have, and most of our initial steps beyond. Well, I'm glad he's back, and whatever he's doing, I would say it would be good. production interruptions due to shoddy He just does a good job. Additional burden to the other teams, and our goal is six nines. <laughs> we'll also continue to maintain and develop our inventory. System, They're saving line is for last. I bet. Should be able to help keep things like Billet's prototype from being mishandled misplaced and misused in the future and the foundational work we're doing on reliable data management and storage should enable teams like the editors and the engineering folks in the lab to move faster and more confidently with lower risk of errors thanks to new tools like our specs database among my other unmentioned and unrelated responsibilities is keeping linus from driving off various cliffs which i have failed at a number of times and let's face it. Yeah, oh, here he is. Fail again. Hey, it's me. I'm chief vision officer now, but realistically, I'm not going to be able to hide behind my recent demotion here. I yep. was the one at the head of the company for each and every mistake that our community has rightly brought to our attention. And once again, I made things worse by allowing myself to respond emotionally. It's honestly really hard yeah when people well here's the thing that emotional Sarah response we know is your true response and what you're writing right, here is the definitely giving you uh the writers have given you a script and can i believe what you say here trying to brush something under the rug just because i do think it's important to get all the details before declaring me to be a low down liar straight up piece of <laughs> we were slow okay. shipping back the gpu that billet lab sent us there's no way around it i That's uh the delay in don't think you're that bad of a guy that you guys just saw. It was less I think you're actually a really good guy I just think you're bad the at running the company all on your own and you know you yourself have admitted that that's why you have a new CEO although the new CEO is uh, feels like he's been in corporate for a long time or Linus feels like a natural guy we were under any pressure to do so and without Colton even bothering to check with me or Yvonne before just saying, go for it. He knows that our internal policy is to do the right thing. So he tried, bless him. I guess his job is safe for another day. And I, I sorry, I guess I've actually gotten a little bit emotional here again. So okay. I'm going to stop there. Um, emotional. Whatever's being said about me and whatever's being said about the team should never have allowed my feelings to distract from any valid criticism of our work. My decision, for example, to not bother retesting the monoblock. That That's his fault. Wrong, and and at least he's admitting to it and he's apologizing. That's what I wanted to hear. You guys better and I'm sorry. For my part, first, I'm going to be working through the other members of the exec team for any crisis communication moving forward and second, I'm going to spend my week working with the other teams to develop a system of processes that will help our company fulfill my vision of being a world-class tech media organization. I'm also going to be spending my week just refocusing, guys, on what matters most, which is bringing you guys the best damn content that we can make. It's been over... Fantastic. Years. I wouldn't want anything else. Um, but I still love tech. I love my team. And yep. even though our relationship's a little rocky right now, 
I love this community and everything that it stands for. I love anything None of that has changed out of tech. That's why I went into computer During science. Oh, here we are. CEO. Stood out to me was, I need somebody to come in who I know will be respectful of my life's work. Dude, you look at him and you, you see corporate. For the first time. I'm by no means an influencer or social media guy, but suddenly I'm accountable not only to Linus and Yvonne and the mm -hmm. entire staff at LMG, but most importantly to the entire LMG audience. I'm fortunate to be inheriting a wonderful team that is passionate and has a ton of energy who shares the same goal. We celebrate our wins together, and when we make mistakes, we also share the responsibility. I'll be coaching the team on the kinds of deep state corporate stuff that I think I'm reasonably good at. Yep, he but is good at corporate stuff. You can tell just by the way he acts and walks and talks. All things I consider to be essential life skills rather than the tactics of some sort of weird Illuminati conspiracy. We okay. need to be more well you didn't have to bring up the Illuminati there. That's weird. Don't talk about them. Writing, editing themes, I'll have to coordinate. There are still going to be deadlines, Don't due dates, talk and about goals that. that we still need to drive towards, but how of all this obviously needs more polish. I planned... Definitely need more polish, that's for sure. Over the coming weeks. But, instead, but I, I, I don't you think your videos are bad. I think they're really good. I, if the information was right, then it would be fantastic. If, if they're, with all the bullet point edits in the video were gone and they just fixed them before uploading... That's all you would have to do. It would work. It would be fine. I feel ready for the challenge. And ready for this message from our sponsor. <laughs> okay. Again. But did offer. Sponsor. For years now, I've dreamed of water. Okay. Um it auto played the next video. But um what I wanna say is that wasn't terrible. It was actually pretty good response. I think they owned up to a lot of the mistakes they had. Um, do I think they'll keep doing it in the future? Unfortunately, I do believe there's a lot of mistakes, and I think they're going to continue them with big open big products like a new phone like an iphone a gpu a new cpu i think those are still going to be rushed out but for inaccuracies and to get them right and like that mouse video i i discussed in my other extra uh in the dawn extra on linus i think they will iron them out beforehand and i think colton feels bad about messing up the water cooling whatever and i don't think linus is actually sorry about the water cooling i think he still thinks it's a bad product but you know at least he said it here it means just a little but as far as getting the reputation back from his audience yeah i think the company this was what the right way to go it is a what i like to I'm going to call, I, I'm not, I don't like to call, but I'm going to call a 85% apology. It was 85% in the right direction and 15% uh, just not good. 15% <laughs> of it, I feel like, was just, uh, they were told what to say. But if they actually implement what they said, then great. Anyway, I'm Don Solomon, the Dawn of everything, and I want to thank you for watching this Dawn Reaction. And I'll see you in the next Dawn Reaction, which will probably be the August 22nd GamesCon event. I'll see you then.